have a really big pack watch moment for all of you. You're going to be really excited when you see the news on this. Hey, troll Matt Walsh loses YouTube and Twitter platforms partly because of his Dylan Mulvaney hatred. It's interesting. I knew that he got demonetized off YouTube, but Twitter, is that, that's not true, is it? Notorious far right troll Matt Walsh is having a bad week and you can thank his obsession with trans influencer Dylan Mulvaney for Monday's installment. YouTube demonetized his channel, which he claimed pulled in $100,000 a month. According to him, YouTube says he violated the platform's terms of service when he repeatedly misgendered Mulvaney, who celebrated 365 days as a girl earlier this month. Did anyone know Dylan before all this shit was thrown at her? I actually uh, saw Dylan Mulvaney perform before Dylan came out as trans. And I had no idea that Dylan was going to become what she is today. It was back when she was still performing in the Book of, Mo the Book of Mormon musical on Broadway. It was just very strange. It's kind of funny how small the world is. She was on Broadway. That makes a lot of sense, right? She absolutely comes off like she's a theater kid. Oh, yeah, these are all of the Matt Walsh Twitter hacks, huh? I remember that he got his Twitter hacked. I can confirm Andrew Tate, Cobra Tate kidnapped and those girls. Ben Shapiro, you know what you did. You are a closeted homosexual and hide behind being Jewish. Oh my god. Joe Rogan is a pedophile. I ain't a gangsta. I'm a sassy shooter. You got a great screenshot from the hack? Let me see. Oh, God, I loved this. Laverne Spicer not realizing that Matt Walsh got hacked. Asking who gave Matt Walsh the N-word pass. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Was he really hacked? Just say it, pussy. Okay. Speaking of the University of Iowa, Matt Walsh confirms that his YouTube channel was demonetized for repeatedly attacking Dylan Mulvaney, says that he was making over $100,000 a month and that he can get it back if he stops misgendering Mulvaney. Let's see his little sob story. Media Matters took the time to review dozens of videos from, from back 12, 13, 14, 15 years ago, publishing their findings under a headline promising to reveal my sordid past. Now, these institutional efforts to silence me and, and us. The problem with trying to expose Matt Walsh is that if you expose him and you're like, here is irrefutable, pu here is irrefutable proof that Matt Walsh is a pedophile, his audience is just going to start clapping like seals, like based, based, Matt Walsh, based pedophile king have continued all the way up to this week. So in fact, less than a day before I was hacked, we received word from YouTube that I had committed a series of alleged violations of their terms of service and also of their ad partnership guidelines, which will now lead to my demonetization and potentially being banished forever from the platform. Now, YouTube's ploy, what we have to understand about big tech, their ploy is to be intentionally vague about their guidelines. They won't tell you. They'll tell you you violated something, but they won't tell you exactly what it was or how that thing violates the guideline, because they want to afford themselves the latitude to demonetize and deplatform you whenever they feel like it. And that's really what's going on here, of course. They just selected me and they said, well, it's your turn and we're going to look for a reason. In fact, um, they did tell us, though, they cited three. There were a number of violations they claimed. They'd only tell us about three of them. All th that's so funny that he took a minute to talk about how vague it is before dropping that it wasn't vague at all and they actually gave him the exact reasons why they demonetized him? Three of them, coincidentally, had to do with Dylan Mulvaney. Yeah. Now, I don't know. Just coincidentally, YouTube decided you're not allowed to say anything about Dylan Mulvaney. YouTube has decided that I'm not allowed to use biologically accurate language when discussing Dylan or presumably any other trans-identified person. And for what it's worth, it, it, does, it does not... For what's worth it, it doesn't seem that other channels are being held to this standard right now. 
So we were told by sources at YouTube that a decision to target our channel had come from um, the highest levels of the company. And they're looking for something, a reason to take us out. Now, of course, there is a way out of this jam. You know, the, the big tech, they're very generous and they'll give you a potential off-ramp. So if I simply respect the preferred pronouns and I stop accurately gendering people, then I can likely continue to do my show on the platform. I can get it re-monetized after, you know, a short probationary period. And I can continue making over $100,000 a month on YouTube ads. Oh my God. It's so fucking sad. Do you see that one right-wing trans girl on TikTok who said that slavery was... No. No, I, I didn't see that, in fact. Yeah, just, this is so whiny. Wow, I can't make, make $1.2 million a year off YouTube because I have to say she instead of he. But it's also really stupid, too, because you don't have to say she either. Like, he could continuously avoid using pronouns. Like, anyone who does not want to correctly gender a trans woman, he could just say they. This is such a stupid hill for him to die on, but he's a really stupid man. I'd be giving up too much for them. Yeah, remember um, before Elon took over Twitter, when all the right-wing grifters kept getting locked out of their accounts, not banned, locked out of their accounts for misgendering trans women, and then they pretended that they just got expelled from the platform forever and refused to take down the tweet that made them get locked out of their accounts. It was so f pathetic. Yeah, Matt Walsh, you could just say Dylan Mulvaney, who wants us to call, who wants us to call them a she. There are so many ways he could continue to be a piece of sh But he really wanted to do the, I'm being oppressed by the woke mob, give me more money stick, you know? It's such a great way to continue to grift from his audience. I feel like every big right-wing grifter is just praying that something like this happens to them so they can play it up and get into a news cycle about it. Hi, thank you so much for watching. If you want to participate in the chat and the videos while they're live, you can do so by making an account at keffels.gg. Also, my videos on this channel regularly get demonetized, so if you'd like to support the channel, you can do so at patreon.com keffels, and I appreciate all of your ongoing support. I'll see you all in the next video.